Hey guys, welcome to another series in organic chemistry. In this series, we are going to talk about isomerism. So, we will take a look at what is isomerism and then we will take a look at its types in organic chemistry that we encounter and we will learn each of these types one by one and then finally we will wind up this series by dealing some problems of JEE and medical exams. This is a very important topic for these competitive examinations. Very often questions from isomerism come in these exams. So let's see what is isomerism. We know that molecules in organic chemistry are represented by a formula and we call it the molecular formula. For example, the molecular formula for ethanol is C2H5OH. But this formula has a drawback and that is it does not tell us about the connections between atoms or the structure of the molecule. So we are not sure by just looking at this formula in what way are these atoms connected. For example, this molecular formula can be for an alcohol which is ethanol CH3 CH2 OH and you can see that this molecule has two carbon atoms, six hydrogen atoms and one oxygen. We can also connect these atoms in a different way and we can get CH3 O CH3. This structure has also two carbon atoms, six hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So both of them have the same molecular formula but their structures are different and this property is what we call isomerism. So what is isomerism? Isomerism is the condition or property when two or more compounds have the same molecular formula but different structures or structural formula and these compounds are known as isomers of each other. Okay. If I take another example, say C3H7Cl and try to predict its structure, then we can write it as CH3, CH2, CH2 and you can see we have three carbon atoms now and we can connect the chlorine atom at the corner and we will get one chloropropane. Now I will teach you how to write these structures so don't panic if you are not getting it 100% right now. And if I connect this chlorine to the middle carbon atom you will get a different structure and that is CH3 CHCl CH3. This compound is called 2-chloropropane. Both of these compounds have the same molecular formula but their connections are different so the structural formula is different and so these compounds are isomers. Now here is an important fact whenever you are not sure if two compounds are isomers or not, write their names and isomers always have different names. So two isomers will not have the same name. So if the names come out to be different and by name I mean the IUPAC name, if the names come out to be different then the compounds are different and if their molecular formula is same then they are isomers. Now let us look at the types of isomerism. In organic chemistry you will encounter two different types of isomerisms. One is called the structural isomerism where the connections between atoms are different and the second kind of isomerism that we will see is the stereoisomerism 
where the connections are same but the orientations are different structure is related to the connections between atoms and stereo isomerism is related to the orientation in space or the arrangement in space of atoms we will take a look at the differences between these two types of isomerisms in detail in the next video see you there